Welcome to CC304, Global Culture and Diversity. I am Dr. Barbara Walters, your instructor this fall. Many of you may know I am also the academic director of the online BA at Sociology at the School of Professional Studies. So I'm very excited to be teaching this course this semester for several reasons. Uh, first, because we would like to make substantial revisions to the course to align the content to serve the needs of both student populations, communication and culture and sociology. Second, because the substance of the course is or pertains to topics of lifelong professional, academic, scholarly, and teaching interest to me. And finally, because this is one of the first courses that we created in the CUNY Online Baccalaureate. So I'm very much looking forward to working with you this semester, and I invite you from the very beginning to make comments about the course on the discussion forum. These will be especially useful as we think through the types of improvisations or the type types of changes or innovations or transformations of the course that may be needed to integrate and update the content. We're now on the announcements page. Most of you are familiar with this page. The page tells you for each learning unit what to do, what to expect, where to find things. The announcements, or new announcements, will be posted for each learning unit at the beginning of the learning unit. They will also be posted to inform you or update you on assignments that have been graded, news about the program or news about the course, other things that you might need to know. In CC304, the learning units cover a two-week period. The first week, the first learning unit covers one week. The learning units, or the announcements page, as does the first, uh, the first announcement, directs you to begin by clicking on learning units on the left-hand navigation panel. Like the announcements, each week, there, each week, or actually for each learning unit, there will be a new folder. This one is Learning Unit 1. If you click on the folder, it will tell you, one, the learning objectives for this learning unit, task, reading assignments, and other assignments for the learning unit. There's a little module that has videos in vodcast. Often these will be videos in vodcast and there will also be, as is the case for this week, a voice thread. And finally, there is a writing assignment for each learning unit. The writing assignment is typically completed on the discussion forum. The week begins on Thursday and ends at midnight on Wednesday. Thus, the first response to the writing assignment or the discussion forum is, is usually the Wednesday midnight of the first week of the learning unit, then you're required or asked to respond to a reply to two of your classmates during the second week. During the first week, the discussion forum is abbreviated primarily because it covers only one week. You can typically access the discussion forum inside the learning unit folder, but you can also access the discussion forum by clicking on discussions. The very first thing I would like for you to do is to introduce yourself on the introductions uh, discussion forum. While the instructions indicate you should post no later than midnight Wednesday 9-3, it would be best if you posted right away preferably within the first three days of the course, and then respond to your classmates as you uh, get to know them. There is one substantive discussion in Learning Unit 1. Again, you'll be asked to post only the reply to the prompt rather than the reply to the prompt followed by a second week in which you respond to classmates. A key item or a key starting point for the course is the syllabus. The syllabus can be found in syllabus and also in information. It's probably a good idea to click on the information folder and explore the contents in each of the folders therein. You should, 
immediately open up and then print off a copy of the syllabus, read and study it carefully. This will be your guide for the course throughout the semester. A second important piece of information is found in the folders on the discussion board guidelines. Here are guidelines, but also you will find a rubric that will be used to grade your participation in the discussion forum. And finally, on the navigation panel, you will find a tab right beneath learning units called essay assignments. This folder contains the larger assignments for this course. There are two of these, two large essay assignments. Inside the folder for essay one, you will find detailed instructions for how to write essay one or what the topic is, and then second, a detailed rubric for how that assignment will be graded. On the exterior of the folder are the due dates for first the draft for the assignment and second for when that final project or final essay is due. You must submit the essay for, for, uh, for as a draft for 10 points in this instance and then the final essay for an additional 20 points. You will be asked to read and respond to the work of at least one of your peers. Once again, uh, the discussions can be accessed on the navigation panel. I urge you to start right away. Introduce yourself to your classmates and to your instructor. I'm very much looking forward to getting to know you, to working with you throughout the semester on the course content. Please note the announcements as they change, and you may also wish to subscribe to the discussion forums. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to contact me in my office or by email. That's typically email is the best way to reach me, best and quickest way to reach me. Once again, I'm very much for looking forward to working with you this fall, very much looking forward to teaching uh, CC304 global culture and diversity, and we'll look for your comments and suggestions about the course and for your other postings on the discussion forum. Have a great semester, and onward to graduation. Thanks.